Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna talk about Shopify, how to create a store on Shopify for uh, science and educational choice, business isn't quick so first type Shopify on the search so as we know Shopify is a tool for making online stores it helps people sell things on the internet by creating a website where they can display and sell their products so first of all enter here your, your email address and start free trial now you can just skip this if you want I'm gonna skip all this and let's continue so after you choose an account yeah, you're gonna wait a few seconds for creating the store and customize your uh, your store section you can now you can wait a few seconds for building the store and creating your account so the first thing you have to do you go to the online store and uh, go to the themes or you can change the themes if you want and customize them so click here and here you can select any theme you want just uh, click add and uh, wait to install the theme after this you can click publish and you can customize it on your home page so for example click here customize and it will take you to your home page like this so first thing here we have the styles you can make it like a desktop style or like a mobile style or uh, like a full screen style so i'm gonna just uh, keep it like this this is the, uh, the settings where you can design your site uh, first here we have the header the announcements bar you can change the color scheme also you can show separate line you can show icons on desktop uh, here you can turn this on or to change announcements you can enable country and region selector uh, you can enable language selector so that's it now let's get back and uh, let's move over to the announcement so here you can change the text also you can pass a link or search uh, for something for example all collections so i'm going to select all collections so that's it now let's move over to the header so here you can change the desktop logo position you can change the main menu or remove it uh, here you can uh, edit the desktop menu type you can change the sticky header uh, here you can change the color scheme and the menu color scheme you can edit the mobile logo position you can edit the spacing and the section padding the top and the bottom so that's it if you want to edit the, the same settings now wait a few seconds so click here and uh, here you can enable search suggestions you can uh, edit the card type uh, and here you can put your social media links your twitter link or facebook or pinterest or wherever you want to add here so that's it now let's move on to the logo so you, here you have to add your logo from your library you have to select your logo from your library so just for example let's search on it some logos on the browser so science and uh, educational choice uh, logo like this so for example um, for example uh, let's choose this so this is your logo right now you can edit it at any time you want you can change it at any time uh, you can explore free you can explore the logo from free uh, free image here you can edit the vertical offset so also you can edit the desktop logo width so that's it now let's get back let's move on to the image banner so here you have two images for example the first image you can select it from the browser and the, sec the second image you can select it from your library or from uh, from uh, free image so that's it for example let's search something from here so for example this So uh, you can choose whatever you want. This is just for example. Second image you can select it from. Uh, you can explore free image or from from your library. Uh, here you can edit the image overlay opacity. You can change the banner height. Uh, also you can change the desktop content position. You can show container on desktop. You can change the desktop content alignment. Here you can edit the animations, the image behavior. Uh, also you can change the mobile layout. You can change the mobile content alignment. Here you can turn this on stock image on mobile you can show container on mobile so that's it now let's move over to the button to the
the heading of the, the image banner so here you can generate the text you can just describe what this text is about so for example you can describe well this is just for example uh, science and educational tools for example like this here you can edit the, the heading size so that's it now let's move on to the buttons so here you can change the first button label or, and also you can change the first button link you can use outline button style uh, here if you already add the second image uh, button you can uh, if you already add the second uh, image you can add here the second button label and you can add the second button link also you can use outline button style so that's it now let's move on to the featured collection so here you can generate the checks on the heading describe what this text is about you can describe more or write in more uh, science and uh, educational choice like this you can edit the hidden size here you can change the description and also you can show collection description from the admin you can change the description style uh, here you can change the collection you can make product full width here if you want to enable view olive collection has more product than shown uh, you can change the view olive style you can enable carousel on desktop here you can change the product card the image ratio and the image shape uh, here you can show second image on hover you can show vendor you can show product region and also you can enable quick add button you can uh, enable swipe on mobile so that's it if you want to add something you just click here and select what kind of section you want to add on your home page from here uh, as you like so that's it now let's move to the last section of the website the future section so here you can change the color scheme also you can uh, edit the email sign up you can show email sign up uh, here you can generate the text on the heading you can sh enable uh, follow on shop also you can show social media so that's it now after you're done from designing website all you have to do is uh, save this and now let's get back to the dashboard so for example now you can uh, name your store after you add your first products and customize your online store now just uh, go to the store settings and you can name it name your store so type any name you want here and if you want to add your store phone you can add it here you can change your store email so that's it now let's see if this after you customize your online store and uh, design it and add your first products now all you have to do is launch your online store you can pick a plan so that's it that's how to customize and uh, publish your store for science and educational choice business on shopify is and quick so that's it for today if you like this video don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe i hope this video is helpful for you thanks for watching till the end and see you in the next video